Hey, I, I seen a video um, not too long ago. It was on social media, sis. It was on social media. I want to ask you the same question. Do you think men like women with BBLs? What's a BBL, by the way? BBL. Okay. <laughs> you think men like that more or are women natural? They like BBLs. Okay. Y'all heard what she said? She, she, she said, she said, men like BBLs more. Guess what, sis? That's a lie. That's a lie. We don't, we don't like that. No. And guess what happened on the social media post? Every single woman said the same thing you said. Men like women with BBLs. No, the hell we don't. No. We don't like that. We like our women natural. We don't like y'all with freaking uh, umbrellas for eyelashes. We don't like y'all like that. Right. You look way better. In your natural God-given state. That's right. Even your hair for give me First Corinthians seven thirty-one. Bring it out. They said the exact same thing. They they asked like about ten different women. Hey, do you like women natural or BBLs? Or BBL? B no, no, no. Do men like women? They asked the women that. All the women said BBLs, 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 BBLs. Then they turn around and ask the men, Do you like BBLs or natural? All the men said natural. Right. Every last one of them, including white men. You know what I'm saying? Including us. Godly men. Watch this. 1 Corinthians 7, 31. Yeah, come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 31. And they, they use this world as not abusing it. So now, in this world, we have to use it, but we can't abuse it. Watch this. For the fashion of this world. The what? The fashion of this world. The fashions of this world. Go ahead. Passeth away. They're going to pass away. When Christ returns, he's going to get rid of all this filth that we see now as common fashion. Remember it said the prostitute invented that in the 1800s, now it's what? Common fashion now. You see what I'm saying? Now what the officer was touching on about hair, like our sisters dominate the, the weave industry by going and buy some, something that looks like a, a East Indian woman or, or a Chinese woman or whatever the case. Give me that in Wisdom of Solomon 13. Yeah, give me that. Watch this, I'm gonna show you something. I wanna start at the top, actually, verse one. Watch this. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. Let me ask you something. It, because before we read this, in that, in that uh, thing that Cap read about uh, when she invented the, uh, it, it used the word elongated eyelashes. So it's not saying you can't take what God gave you and accent it a little bit. Like, you know, you might add a little color to it or something like that, make them a little dark, whatever. But elongated means what? Can you look it up? Look up elongated. And then give me first Timothy 2 real quick. But hold that. I want to ask y'all something about off camera. Give me first Timothy 2. Why off? Why off? You can ask now. Let me read this first though. So do y'all think we're in the book of Revelation? Yes. We are. We are. Oh, so I'm right. We're we're in we're in what's called now the fifth so that's seal. That's why they're trying to make Trump and Trump. No, 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 they ain't got nothing to do with him. I, I heard, I've heard people say that, like, oh, he's the last Trump and all that, but no, no, they ain't got nothing to do with that. You got elongated? Uh, elongated. Long in relation to width, especially unusually so. You see that? Long, especially unusually so. So unusually natural. That's the point. So God gave you lashes naturally, but then you put something on it that make them accentuated, elongated, unnatural. It's the same thing as a BBL. Watch what it says in 1 Timothy 2. What's real? That's fine. That's fine. You good then, right? Read this, 1 Timothy 2. But I, I still got to deal with that too, though. 1 Timothy 2. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. See what it says? Women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest means what? Natural. Yes, it's natural, but it's also not elongated or not unnatural, not accentuating, not showing or revealing yourself so much. You know what I'm saying? So if you knew, if you knew that a prostitute invented that, would you wear? Them? I'm wearing them now. But I'm saying, if you knew that before now, would you still wear them? Okay. So what does that mean? You have to do, or you should do? Change it. Yes, that's what it means. Read it again. And like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness. See what it says? The clothing you put on should represent that you're shamefaced, which means what? What does it mean to be shamefaced? 
Oh, or shy. Shy is another word for shame face. Yeah, I'm shy. So, yeah. You are shy. Your your personality might be shy, but if you walk around with booty shorts on and your your breast out, does that mean you're shy? What? You don't. Okay. The the tank top is it's it's borderline. A, a little, right? A little. So you can do better with that. You know what I mean? You can do better with that. Read it again. And like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Being sober, good. Not what brought it here, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. Now, is that saying you can't have on gold and things that look good? Is it saying you can't do that? No, it's not saying that. No, it's not saying that. So what does it mean? It's going to say the next part. Read. But which becometh women professing godliness. See that? Meaning when you put on stuff, you got to represent things, not only in your speech, but your actions, how you carry yourself professing godliness things out of the bible thus saith the lord god so now although you have a shy personality give me deuteronomy 22 and 5 and then i want wisdom of solomon after this i think deuteronomy 22 the book of deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5 the woman shall not wear that so now the woman shall not means what is it optional this God is saying, nah, if you if you go to work, you could do it, or if you in the house, you could do it. Shall not means what? You can still do it. You can still do it? You can, right? Can? Read it again. The woman shall not. So now, does that mean you can't do it? You can't. At all, right? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, what's that talking about? A woman, a woman, I'll, I'll, I'll translate, right? Because I know you're not reading. It's difficult for our people to listen and understand at the same time. A woman shall not put on something that pertains to a man. Right. What do you think that's talking about? No shorts. No shorts. Stuff like, like nudies. Okay, so now let's think about the word. Shorts means what? It's short for what? What's, it's short from what? Okay. Clothes. I don't know. Right, it's, it's cut from what though? What was in its long state, it would be what? Tim. If shorts were longer, what would they be? Pants. Yes, you know, so it's the same thing. They, why do they call them shorts? Because they short pants. Right. That's what they are. Read it right. again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Like when you look at a bathroom sign, you have the man has on what? Pants. Yes, and the woman has on what? Yeah, even if there was no words on the sign, you knew based on that symbol, that's for the men, this is for the women, right? So now, what you have on now, that's pants. And when you, I'll tell you something that's that's okay, is like spandex and things like that, but that's supposed to be one under the dress only. Right. That's that's underwear, that's what it is. You understand, what did you say? Yeah, right, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, what's that woman's garment that men should not put on? Yeah. So you see brothers walk around. Don't they have rappers doing that now in society? Guys saying that's, a, that's an abomination to him. He can't stand that thing. Who? The rapper Young Thug. Young Thug. Imagine that. A young thug, they have, they pay them millions of dollars to go, hey, put on a dress. Influence your community to decadence. Right. You understand? Decadence means decay. Destroy your community by making making it, them feel like it's okay for a man to wear a dress. You understand? Read again. Watch what God feels about this. Read again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. See what it says? Anybody that does that is an abomination to God. God hates abominations. You understand that? Show her that real quick so she can see it. Let's read it for her. Sirach 15, 13. Read it. The Lord, the book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. The Lord hated all abomination. You see that? You know? And they that fear God love it not. So when you fear God, you don't love seeing young thug in a dress. You're like, yo, that's an abomination. So it's the same thing. 
another sin like homosexuality, for example. How does God feel about that? It's not a godly thing. It's not. Let's read it for it real quick. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 23. Neither. What you want a water? Yeah. Get, get her one real quick. <laughs> Leviticus 18, 20. Or 23. Yes, sir. Neither shall thou lie with any beast. No, 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 no. no. Uh, 22, yes. Watch, watch. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Don't lie with a man like you lay with a woman. Watch. It is abomination. It is what? Abomination. It is what? Abomination. You see what God says? Homo the act of homosexuality and lesbianism is an abomination. How does God feel about those? He hates it. So now what I want you to see is the same way a woman putting on pants and a man in a dress, is that's an abomination too. So it's the same thing to God. He looks at that just like homosexuality. You understand? Now, Wisdom of Solomon 13. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of God. See what it says? In our natural state, we're ignorant. We don't know God. We think that we can get up and do whatever we want to do. I can get up on Saturday. I can go cut my grass, smoke weed, get high on Friday, and then I'm going to go to church on Sunday and love God. No. Read on. And cannot out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Look around you. Look around. If you see any beautiful thing in nature, we still don't see those things and understand how God tru truly is, how wonderful he truly is. Read on. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. See what it says? Neither by considering these works that you see, the trees, the birds, the sky, and so forth, do we consider the work master, the creator of those things. Go ahead. But deemed either fire, or wind, or the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water. All these things in nature that we see, read on. Or the lights of heaven, Go ahead. to be the gods, which govern the world. Because you ever heard of something called Mother Nature? We say, oh, Mother Nature, she did that. No, God did that. There's no Mother Nature. God, God created all these things, right? Read on. With whose beauty, if they being delighted. Look at the sky. If you look at the sky and says, man, the sky is beautiful. You ever, you ever said that before? Look at the sunset. Look how amazing that looks. If it says what? Whose beauty? With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, uh -huh. let them know. Let them know. How much better, how much better the Lord of them is. Let them know how much better the Lord is that created all those things. Watch this. For the first author of beauty hath created them. See what it says? The first author of beauty created everything that we see. Who's the first author of beauty? God. Now, give me Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. Let me show you the texture of God's hair. I'm going to show you this. The Bible says it. Watch this. Daniel 7 verse 9. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. This is Daniel. He said, in the spirit I saw all the kingdoms of the earth cast down, and the ancient of days was sitting down. Who's the ancient of days? What does that mean? The person that created days, yeah. they were before days. Right. So there's the ancient, it's called the ancient of days. Right. Who created days? God. It says he did what? Read it again. And the ancient of days did sit. In order to sit down, you have to have a what? Chair. A chair. <laughs> you gotta have a body. Yeah, a you gotta have a butt, yeah. legs, you sit, yeah. right? So he's not a puff of smoke in the sky. No. He says, I saw him sitting. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. In order to have a garment on, you have to have a what? A body to put it on, right? He had a white garment on. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like what? Pure wool. Like what? What did it say? Naughty. Huh? It was naughty. Naughty. Yes. <laughs> so now think about it. The Bible calls him the first author of beauty. Mm -hmm. So true beauty, true beautiful hair is what type of hair? Natural, Natural. woolly. You yes, understand? Right. 
I know that. But guess what you're doing? You're hiding. Right. Yeah. You're hiding your natural beauty, what God gave you naturally. Right. And then what we're telling you is this. We, we love y'all better in your natural state, your God-given state. Right. You see what I'm saying? Just like God loves you. Right. Read it again from the top. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.